All right guys, most of you have online stock portfolio. Now it is easy to know how much return you have generated. In this whole thing, it is a bit tricky to understand whether you have outperformed or underperformed the market. Easy way to calculate whether you have outperformed or underperformed is through alpha. If the alpha is positive, that means you have outperformed the market. Now it is a bit tricky to calculate the alpha because every single day your stock price is moving up and down and the benchmark is also. There is an easy way to calculate alpha automatically which if you sit once it will calculate each and every moment when the market is changing the price. We can do it through Google Sheet. In this video this is what we will learn how you can calculate alpha automatically for your stock portfolio. Without wasting any time let us directly dive in. So we'll start from the beginning. First, you can go to your Gmail and then you can open a sheet as you can see here. Say we have created a new sheet here. In this sheet, we will calculate portfolio alpha. There are three things that we need to calculate your portfolio alpha. The first thing is you need to have your transaction details. Okay, so typically you get your transaction details from the broker's brokerage account that you have. You can easily find that. Next is whichever share that you have purchased. You need to know the ticker symbol of that. Okay. We will show you how you can find out the ticker symbol. Say you have uh, Reliance in your portfolio. So what you can do is you can search it in Google, Reliance share price. If you search it, you will find the small number name here. This is a ticker symbol of Reliance. Okay, so we have to write exactly the way it is written there. Okay, say if it is not Reliance, you can find out Airtel share price to know the Airtel what is the ticker symbol of that. So, for example, for Airtel, if you search it, it's Bharti ARTL. So that's what exactly you have to write here. So once you get the transaction details, the next step would be to find out all the ticker symbol of all the stocks that you own. The third thing is you need to set a benchmark. So in this case, let's see it is Nifty 50. Okay. So these three things you must have when you calculate your portfolio alpha. Okay. Now let's see how we can do this. To do that first let us uh, put some names, say date and then share, ticker, how many units of share you purchased, what is the cost at which you purchased and then um, say CMP current market price and then profit. So whatever information you have in your transaction details we are going to put it here in the spreadsheet. Let's see how we do it. Let's say you have share purchased on 6 Jan of 2020. We put this date here. Say you have bought on that day HDFC Bank. Okay. Now what is the name of the share? Please do not write the name of the share. Let the Google Finance find it out. So Okay, so before we start there, we will use Google Finance to get all the information online so that it becomes automatic and you do not have to use things again and again. Okay, once you do it, you are all set. So use Google Finance, then show the ticker and then you write this function. Then you will see that the name of the share will pop up here. So on that day you have bought two units of HDFC bank at which cost you know the cost from the transaction details but if you do not know we will show you how you can calculate. So let us find out how much cost it was there for HDFC bank on 6 Jan of 20. We use Google Finance then select the ticker and then we use price as an attribute then you have to put the date this date now here important is you always have to put minus one if you hit enter 
it will show you what is the closing price of HDFC Bank at that particular day okay so from here I can see it is 1240 now if you already have this information at which price that you have purchased there is no need to worry CMP current market price you do not have to write it you have to write a formula so that it updates automatically we use Google Finance and then show the ticker and then we use the attribute price that is the current market price and how much profit did you make it is current market price minus your cost which is F7 right okay if you have previous experience in Excel or Google spreadsheet it would be really easy for you but even if it is not no worry you will be able to do it by your own if you follow this video so this much uh, difference in the price and how many units you have if you click this this much you need you have right so at this purchase you have made this much of profit okay so this is how you can transfer your details your transaction details uh, in the spreadsheet okay the same thing you can do for all the stocks right so let us take a few more examples let's say in 18th of um, May 2021 okay let us put, change the color here okay so this is the day you purchased um, ITC okay okay by the way we write ITC here on the tip uh, on the ticker and we extend the share okay how many units let's say you have bought 10 units you know the price but again we will show you how you can find out the price of ITC at that particular day take the help of Google Finance click ticker and then show the price and then you select the date and always my put minus one to know the date so at 18th May 2021 the price of ITC it was 210 let's put it here what is the market price now in this case you, you can just drag in the profit also you can just simply drag right so this is how you have put another entry in your sheet let us take another example let's say in 2nd August 2021 you purchased DB slab and the ticker of DB slab is this I have put it here I already know so that's that's why I have put it what is the share name if I just drag it it should give me the name how many units let's say we have put two units of DB slab at what price at this day we will again use Google Finance function and select the date here we have found out the price is 4928 right let's delete this part since we do not need it what is the current market price we have to just drag it same we can do for the profit so now let us see what are the things we have done we have transferred your cost your profit and and the automatic price is already uploaded here right now let us see how much of investment did we make we we'll put the same color here so that it looks good so the investment is your unit multiplied by your cost so use the autofill function and let us orient it on the left side now let's put it on the right side only this part this two we can this three we can put it left aligned just to make it look good right now this much investment we have made likewise you may have hundreds of entry but not a problem you can do in the same way remember this this two are going to be the input that you are going to get from your brokerage account right now let us calculate how much of investment you made let's take a summation of this now remove this nine and put it so that it can take any entry that comes hence forward so this much of investment you made let's see how much of profit you made you made this much of profit now what is your portfolio return let us calculate here your portfolio return is going to be your profit 
divided by your total investment which is this so you have made a return let's put it in a percentage term it is 9.2 percent so this much of your portfolio has generated okay now let us see how you can calculate what if you have invested all of your money in nifty 50 how to calculate that so to know that first you need to find out how much nifty was costing at those particular day when you have made those investment right so i have created another row for nifty 50 so we have to know on 6th of jan 2020 how much was the closing price of nifty 50 you can go to the price history and you can find it out but that is a lot of work we will do it using google finance so we pick google finance and this is the ticker symbol so i click it here and then we put the attribute which is price close the bracket before that pick the date minus one so with this we can see the nifty 50 was costing 11993 and that particular day right the same thing we can do now b7 as for this if instead of b7 if we do b8 we can find the nifty at 18th may 2021 it was 15108 right okay we can just change the color i think the, there is some issue with the color but anyway not a problem so for this day we have to find out what is the nifty 50 what we can do it click date instead of b8 you change it to the 9th so that this day is automatically selected click enter it is 15885 right then you remove this part okay so now you know nifty at those date how much it was costing now here is an important point you have invested in this date 2480 rupees instead of putting this money in hdfc bank if you would have made put this money in nifty 50 how much of nifty unit you would have bought to calculate that what you can do is this amount by nifty price right we can do for others one let's take it in less decimal places three decimal places put it center aligned let's say this is nifty unit we'll put the same color so that it looks good so so far instead of making this money investing this money in those stocks if you would have put the same money in nifty this much of nifty unit you could have purchased see how much of nifty unit that you have collected so far this much always remove the last one so that it automatically detects all the units coming forward so this much of nifty 50 unit you would have had it now now you have to find the valuation of this much of nifty unit at current day how to do that so to know the valuation you have to first know the valuation of nifty 50 now Let's put it nifty 50 and let's put the value now how to do this put google finance select nifty 50 put price close the bracket you should find this is the current value and this is already upgraded when you use this function the advantage is you do not have to enter this value once you put the value it automatically updates from the internet okay so one unit of nifty 50 cost this much and we have to find this much of unit how much that has value now so nifty portfolio valuation is your this much unit you have and one unit value this much so if you would have invested in nifty this much of valuation it would have generated so how much is the gain for nifty portfolio you have invested portfolio valuation is this you have to subtract that investment so you have made a gain of 2208 rupees so if you want to find out nifty portfolio return 
that is your gain divided by your investment amount so as you can see here it is nifty portfolio return let's write it here nifty portfolio is equal to this much right so what is your alpha alpha is just the difference between your portfolio return minus your nifty return so you can see your alpha is minus 10 let's say instead of itc if you would have had some other stock for example um reliance let's see how it have, would have varied just put the reliance rest of the things changed let's say uh, your investment price at 18th of may 2021 it was not 210 let's find out how much it was for reliance you can find out the price put the google finance select reliance and then price and then put this minus one to do this you can find out the price was 1987 if you put it everything changes now see instead of itc if you would have put reliance only one thing that have changed here the ticker symbol and the investment price which you already have from your transaction details so in this case your alpha would be 3.28 so this is automatically changing and see the alpha value is also changing so this is how you can develop a dynamic portfolio tracker where the alpha is automatically calculated once you do it it is set for your lifetime thank you for checking out this video there are a lot of interesting discussion happening in your telegram group mostly our channel members are very well informed investor discussion is much more fun in that channel if you are interested do join in the channel thanks once again for your growing support we'll catch you up in our next video until then take care bye